वेलकम बैक गाइज सो अनदर वीडियो इन आर आर डी थ्री फिफ्टी सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज सो वी वुड बी डूइंग यू नो यू टॉकिंग अबाउट दी एंजिन ऑफकोर्स यू नो देर देर आर सेवरल पार्ट्स सो वी हैव ब्रोकन इट डाउन इन फैक्ट यू नो वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द टॉप एंड क्रैंक एंड एवरी थिंग टूडे इज टॉपिक यू नो वील जस्ट फोकस ऑन द टॉप एंड नाउ टॉप एंड कंप्राइजेस the uh, the head and the barrels correct me if i'm yeah, wrong correct, right? absolutely yeah so uh, gautam bhai please uh, you know camera is all yours yeah. please spill the beans so uh, uh, the the basic difference we know is in the power output and uh, allegedly the better fuel economy of indian rd350 so the us variant or the european variant was 39 ps as we know mm -hmm. and one of the primary reasons is how the top end has been ported right the uh, exhaust port the transverse auxiliary and main mm -hmm. transfer ports so talking about the top end of indian rd350 it has it has been taken from 350a mm -hmm. but the it's a very common knowledge that the exhaust port had been lowered like on uh, stock bike it is 32 it is 32 mm from the uh, from the top from the gasket uh, surface of the barrel Uh, we will be slow down a bit here. So we are right now talking about okay. So we'll we'll be giving three figures. Yes. One for the US RD. Yes. Uh, one for the original RD. Uh, you know, irrespective. Uh, we are giving it for uh, the RD 350A. Yes. Okay. Or the 350B. Same. The barrels are same. The porting is. Oh, of course. The uh, you know the barrels are the same because yeah, both those motorcycles were producing 39 PS, and then we will shift to HT. and then we'll give the uh, lt figures correct so let's talk about the uh, again the original rd the 39 ps rd figures yes. as we know it's 29.5 mm the exhaust port is 29.5 mm from the top and that's including uh, the gasket or right? including the gasket all right 29.5 so okay. it's a very common figure main uh, the main difference is in transfers which i'll get to all right so talking about the us rd Uh, it's uh, or the european rd it's 29.5 the exhaust port on exhaust the port opening opening yes yeah. and then uh, indian uh, is the stock or hd is 32 mm and the lt uh, lower end top by is 36 mm 36 mm yeah that is including gasket okay yeah. now uh, if you do a general search uh, if you google it you will see that the only difference which has been highlighted is the exhaust port opening true 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 However, always yes all this however uh, i have uh, measured the uh, all three barrels i have a new barrel of uh, 39 ps and fortunate enough to have a standard stock barrel of hd and then uh, thanks to some of my reliable friends whom i borrowed the lt uh, the non chipped variant of lt yeah. the transfers are have also been lowered now this is something which you might know but you don't find on the internet true true so true, the true. hd and lt both had similar uh, transfers the height of the transfers had been same but it's not a carry over it's not only all about uh, uh, just the exhaust just port just the exhaust right? port yeah yeah, yeah, yeah which yeah. which, which uh, kind of uh, on the lt it kind of directly uh, manifest into uh, increase of track volume so ineffectively making it slightly larger engine we don't talk about the ga gas tank yes, just yes, yes, just yes, the crack yes. volume yes so that gives you that extra uh, 6 uh, 6 6.5 mm stroke yes. you know that it gives you extra track yes. volume probably one of the reasons why lt has even better lower end top because of uh, of a the port being uh, lower and b increased in the tra track volume true, now true, true. talking about the top end We did. Get... I I I am so sorry to interrupt. In uh, fact, right now this would be the moment, uh, by where we can tell people. Yes. That LT does not stand for low torque. Yes. HT does not stand for high torque. Yeah. I mean these both bikes, you know, you can't have. Otherwise, thirty nine would have been H H T. Yeah, yeah. High, high super high. or or S H T. Yeah. Super high torque. Yeah. Oh, so. Uh, in fact, a couple of uh, you know uh, people. Uh, for example, Chotu Bhaiya has always known this. Uh -huh. So he never says LT. He always says that this is an LET. This is an HET. So he would say that you know yeah. So HT is essentially high end torque. Okay? High end torque. And uh, LT is low end torque. That basically means that this is producing. This is all basically about the power band. The power band has been band. shifted. It's been shifted. Uh -huh. HT is all about revs, 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 higher revs. 
okay lt of course you know you have <laughs> torque available i would say that you know i have always found lt to be the perfect wheelie machine if i may say yeah, that yeah yeah definitely right? it has uh, right from the word go, go. it has, it has uh, yeah, a, yeah. Uh, uh, one by that uh, you know we will do this someday so that uh, correct me if i'm wrong ideally ideally at least if not 0 to 100 0 to 60 or 0 to 80 i would say yeah, we are talking about rd we are not talking about rx100 so i would say that 0 to 80 could be you know even even if it is better by a fraction of a second but it should be better than both the ht and, and yeah uh, the 39 so PS if, you, if you do the stoplight race yeah between the two stoplights initially lt would LT, be too LT would be lt would be the winner uh, but the moment you start crossing 100 then, then of because of the arrangement of the exhaust port mm -hmm. the engine starts suffocating a bit True. by okay. the time you are at 130 it had seen all the uh, you know better rev range, uh, rev range, Absolutely. and then uh, yeah. you are in the area where HD While the and, and HD 39. Uh, and thirty nine PS bikes would keep pulling. Yes, keep pulling. In fact, uh, there isn't a huge amount of difference between thirty nine and thirty two. Uh, so, both can easily go up to one forty, one fifty. Yes. It's just that marginally HD would be slower compared true, to true, true. but that makes HD a more rideable bike. More rideable. So it's the is the sweet spot between thirty nine and LT. Mm -hmm. uh, HD is a bike which will be more suited to the masses, I would say. All right. However, it doesn't give that kind of fuel economy which you expect from Indian RD. Mm -hmm. Hence, why LT uh, uh, was introduced. But uh, the advantage is, is it's a sweeter bike to ride in the city. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. And uh, it's, uh, it runs cleaner. It's uh, more responsive. It's peppier. Yeah. So uh, and and by the way, whilst at it, uh, we inherited the 350A head. Now you may ask me. Oh yeah. So now now we are you know going back to talking about the top end. That was barrel. Now you talk about the head. Yes, yes. Which yes. is part of the top end. Yes. So um, if you look at the costing of the motorcycle, the tools and the dies, uh, what is the chance of finding a spare die uh, compared to 350? B or A, 350B had been uh, narrowed down to a very specific market in Europe. And, and just to clarify, we are talking about the actual 350B, which was the 521, the European RD, correct me if I'm yes, wrong. Yes, yes. All right, I think we've talked about this uh, earlier. Now, so we're not talking about, okay, so this is again a misconception or a myth that the US RD 350B was the holy grail. No, it was not. It was essentially an RD350A with a couple of bits from the actual RD350B that was the 521. Yeah. Okay, and so that is the bike that Gautam Bai is now talking about. Okay, the 521 because it was uh, manufactured and sold okay, in few numbers. Yes. Uh, okay. So look, uh, compared to A or B, USB, yeah. the volume of the 521 had been very, very small. I mean, we are talking few thousand bikes had been sold. Wow. So it's not uh, hugely popular. It, you, you won't be able to find it in great numbers as you can find 350A or B from US. From the US. So yeah. uh, the difference was, uh, going back to why we got the 350A, potentially, I'm not saying that is the reason, but potentially uh, what we... Uh, what we think would be the reason is that uh, because we needed cheaper tools, freed up tools from 1973 pipe. Yeah. So the chances of stumbling upon a free tool of A was much higher because it was produced in a huge quantity. They would have they would have yeah. more number of uh, you know dies. They would have more Absolutely. more tools. Absolutely. They can't just rely on one yeah. die. They yeah. have yeah yeah uh, probably for 521 they would have had only a couple of dies and they yeah. would have like to keep it for the service you absolutely, know for the replacement head yeah, yeah. so uh, uh, potentially that's that's one of the reasons the main difference between 521 and 360 head or our head is the thickness of the head itself mm -hmm. so if you if you look at the uh, 350 actual 350 b 521 head it has a deeper reach sparkler okay so generally we use b8 hs on 350a However, on 350, actual 521B, we use B8ES, which is a deeper reach sparkler. Okay. So the casting is certainly different. Uh, if you look at the flame face side, where uh, the piston side of the head, you will see on 350A, 350USB, and our head, you will find a small windows. 
they say it's for casting you know for taking out the sand coat or something mm -hmm. however if you look at the 350 521 head it's all solid face you know that's one of the telltale of the head and then obviously the deep breech sparkler mm -hmm. uh, what people say in Europe that uh, 521 is the holy grail of uh, RD350, airboot RD350s because uh, in racing scenario, uh, people used to look out for 521 head. It gave a little bit, it's not my own experience, I'm just repeating what, what other what people you, say. Uh, that, uh, it, is, it, is, it gives much more stability. Thermally, it is a bit more stable and forgiving head compared to 521, uh, compared to 360s, which could see more deformation mm -hmm. and uh, may not be that great in terms of handling the heat. All right. So right. Th that was that was the topic. Finally, of that that head would have been amazing, or in fact, a lot better in our conditions. Yes, yes, and uh, yeah. Yeah, 521. I'm surprised that why didn't we get it? Actually. And shame would be if we would have tooled up. If we would have tooled up, it makes no sense why to save that little bit of extra aluminium uh, in raw material, it would have costed like not even a cent. You know, why we would have gone away from 521. Uh, you can buy a 521 head, you can put it on our RD and it will happily work provided you have 39 PS head. 39 PS top end, not like on Indian yeah, 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 so Your compression will go through the roof. Yes. But if you are using a 39 PS barrel, uh -huh. you can use a 521 head. And that's many European viewers will agree yes. that it's a better combination. Right. You know, so right. uh, basically that is what it is. And uh, between uh, top end interchangeability, as long as you stay with the head, you can put any combination you like. You can use the LT, HT, or 39 PS, 521. Uh, what not on a crankcase and uh, yeah as long as you get the fueling and exhaust right you can make whatever you like you know so that is all about the the the, the top end yeah uh Gautam, just one question quickly okay uh, so uh as a thumb rule you cannot use <laughs> the five to one head uh with uh you know indian HTL. ht or lt barrels we, we can't do that no reasons being it's, it's a squish of the head. Yes. The, the total volume of the head is suited to 39.5 millimeter exhaust port. Ah, right. Ah, right. If you use a, a 360 or 521 head on HDLD, your compression will go much higher because the volume of head is much smaller. All right. So, All right. so All right. there is a, unfortunately you can skim a LT head to make an HD. You can skim an HD to make a 39 PS but you cannot add material to the head to make it uh, HD or LT other way around, unfortunately. Uh, because that will uh, uh, require a complex welding job and aluminiums generally don't like to be welded. So, uh, I'm not giving ideas, but uh, that's, uh, that's a matter of fact. <laughs> true, From my true, own true. product development experience, true, I can true, say true, that true, people true. do aluminium welding, but not to an extent where you can have a uh, a, a very reliable, as reliable component as uh, originally produced by adding yes. material to it. So I would say that uh, if you are going from LT to HT, HT to 39 PS, yes, by all means you can skip the head, but not other way around. You all have right. to get the proper head. All right. And all with right. the shortages where most of the heads have seen detonation, ring breakages, and uh, most of the RTs have seen sparkler thread damage, where yes. people, no. use, people use inserts. <laughs> People use inserts. Those inserts are horrible. Uh, if you if you look at the, I mean, you could have done a better job. Sure. But most of the repaired heads, if you see the the quality of insert is like horrid. You know, but you can still uh, re-salvage that head. You can remove that insert. Put put a proper insert. Point being that the the hemisphere, the dome of the head should be smooth. It should not having be having anything poking inside the combustion chamber. Makes sense. And the worst thing is guys, worst thing is when they put insert, the spark plug is not even seeing the combustion chamber. It stops much before seeing the daylight inside the combustion chamber. Do you know that? Take any repaired head, look at the spark plug where it ends. It ends a couple of millimeters inside the uh, inside the thread. That is the worst favor you are doing to the RD. That is the worst thing you are doing to the RD. If you want to put an insert, if you want to recover and repair, at least make sure the spark plug electrodes and tips are positionally correct in the cylinder otherwise your fuel efficiency will drop you everything everything yeah your bike will run your yeah. bike will run uh, even yeah. with the spark plug yeah. half because you're 
you are uh, creating a, ch a little chamber inside the head, another chamber where the uh, charge is going in, but that's not the right thing to do. Cool, cool. So take the head, escape that thing out, put a put a insert which is flush. Uh, use something like uh, NPT thread or something to lock that thing so that uh, I know many purists will say that oh it will just come out and then no I have done it you can repair the head where your uh, insert is flush to the head you can put the spark plug the spark plug electrode should should poke inside the cylinder head you know into the combustion chamber so that you get most most efficient uh, combustion, combustion. Yes. you know and uh, and the head gaskets are same on all three bikes. So all right, all right. it's the same uh, thickness. Yes. As, you know. So so if, if I may if I may summarize this you know video. So you learned uh, two things you know uh, in this video. Uh, one was uh, of course you know when you talk about the ex difference in exhaust port height. Okay, uh, that has always been talked about, but no one talked about the difference in transfer ports. Okay. Yes. Uh, so yeah, you learned that in this video, plus uh, the interchangeability of uh, you know the heads, what you can do and what you can't do and what you should not do. <laughs> like and that. to end one video, one point I forgot uh -huh. which I would like to add. Uh -huh. uh, people plot the transfers and the exhaust port on a piece of paper. What they are doing is they are drawing the periphery of the window, but there is more to it. The angle of the port you know where it is pointing inside the cylinder can only be achieved when you properly do the port map of the entire port entire passage you know uh, we're talking about transfer ports right here. transfer ports yes yes, yes, yes. so so uh, many people uh, especially some of the barrels manufactured in china mm -hmm. you see that the port is literally at opening at 90 degrees wow However, the auxiliary ports, they have a bit of a roof like this, you know, okay. so they are directing the flow mm -hmm. towards the combustion chamber and the main transfers, mm -hmm. they are of a difference of one millimeter. So they, they open with the auxiliary a little bit and as the piston is traversing down, it uncovers the whole transfer. So there is a lot to it. It's not only about uh, 29.5 you know if you want to replicate if you want to copy if you want to create the same barrel then you have to look into the details it's not only the opening of window and width absolutely, and the height absolutely you have absolutely. to have you have to uh, yeah, you yeah. know look at the larger picture and get the whole whole geometry right true true true, true, true. well uh, so that was it for this video i again thank gautam bhai for such amazing insights and uh, you know please do subscribe if you haven't already because there's a lot more coming and uh, the videos that we have already published i'll provide the links in the description and uh, possibly in the you know as a pinned comment below and yeah do let me know if you have any questions i'll see you soon in the next video thank you so much bye